just want to make an honest living doing what I love. We all do. Out here in the cat skills. I could get used to this. Oh, I could get used to this. Yeah. Out here in the cat skills. I'm gonna win the game, dog. Like a track. Okay, go. Everywhere we won't say no. Whatever weather we might get, Rochambeau. No telling. Yesterday was so damn cold. Now today's sun smiling and so damn bold. Man, springs around the corner deck to full camo. We gotta find him and ask him when the snow gon' go. Cause I can't take no more. I need to know. Okay, yo, it's time to start the show. I was feeling jazzed up, man. I had just finished Nature Valley and I was visiting this recording studio in the Catskill Mountains with this guy named Eric who uh, you'll learn a lot more about as we go on. Um, That's him right there. And he's going to help me bring my album to life. So the place is called Applehead Recording Studios, and it's phenomenal. They've got this cabin next door where the artists stay, and they also Airbnb it, and it's just so gorgeous. I mean, right out the window is the river. Like, come on. It's a total dream. And there's animals everywhere, like the resident pig, and there's a dog, at least one dog, and the goats you saw. Oh, and when I got there, Coheed and Cambria was recording for their new album. I remember watching all their music videos on MTV before school, uh, back in middle school and high school, and so it was a little bit surreal to meet them in person. The actual town that the recording studio is in is Woodstock, New York like THE Woodstock, where the famous concert went down. And they've got insanely cool bars and stores, and the vibe is just really fun. And it's funny, because you'll see hippie dudes with long beards and then turn the corner and walk into a crowd of young hipsters. It's, it's a very interesting mix out there. Oh, and my burned thumb was starting to heal, and it was kind of in the shape of a heart, which I thought was kind of cool. There's like fog coming off of the, I bet you the road's gonna be super foggy. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's 55 degrees out, and it's February. It's supposed to be 60 or 70 today, I don't even know. It might even be 90. 90. 90. I'm out of propane, so I can't, I don't have any hot water, can't cook, can't do anything, so I have to go to the creamery to get breakfast. Just got out to capture some light rays, and uh, oh, they're coming back too. Ooh, okay. But I found something very interesting on my car. Oat, you know who you are. What are all these footprints? (laughs) Good boy. Heading up to uh, up near uh, Bolton, Vermont. There's this insane gorge. My last shoot for Nature Valley, snowshoeing and hiking and stuff. It's cold, 22 degrees. Considering yesterday it was 60 degrees, now it's 22 and it's supposed to be like 60 again and it's gonna rain, but we just got fresh snow. The weather is all over the place. I'm so ready for spring. Broke my like main shooting camera. It's like my little Sony point and shoot. Broke it in Maine. I was hanging it up for a um, shot of down of me cooking. Just fell, smashed, and then the screen got stuck upside down, so I sent it back to Sony. So right now I'm on the, the Hero 5, which, whatever. Dude, use what you have. Don't ever worry about the equipment. If you have a story that you want to tell that's worth telling, just do it. (laughs) When your life's been put on hold for far too long When the sorrow So I've always had this small grudge against wind. It makes it hard to do things outside, whether it's light a fire 
or eat lunch, it blows everything away. And this little sign reminded me of it. I know that one day I'll be in a scenario where the wind will save me and I'll smile and sigh. There's always a way to find the good in the things that you don't like. Incredible. It's like 70 degrees out. The river is roaring. It's so loud. And I'm stuck inside all day editing Nature Valley. So that was the final ad for the series with Nature Valley. I wanted it to be a summation of the highlights of the trip and have a lot of energy. Because when I think back to creating the campaign, that's the exact feeling I had during it. And overall, I was extremely happy with how the entire campaign turned out. I shot a few more things for Nature Valley, and uh, I always like doing flat lays for companies because it's just a simple way to showcase the product, and even if they don't use the photos, it might get their gears turning on some other ideas. Um, I've had that happen in the past with a car company where I shot their keys and their dealer plates in flat lays, and they loved it so much that they contacted me again to shoot different versions for the desktops on the computers in every one of their dealerships. So always go the extra mile because you never know what could happen. And here we have the truck being towed. So what happened was I went to start it on a cold day and sometimes you gotta tap the gas pedal repeatedly to get it to ignite. And I was doing that a little bit too hard and I dislocated the throttle cable and then it was like jammed all the way down or something, I don't know, whatever. Um, but it could use a new air intake. It doesn't actually have an air intake. It could use a new carburetor and a bunch of other crap. So it's going into the shop and hopefully it will be back and stronger than ever. And, uh, I'm so ready to have it back for the warmer weather because I haven't had it for like two months and I miss those daily rides. That was my stress relief, <sighs> which leads me to this. So... I normally wouldn't say any of this to anyone. I usually keep a lot of this shit inside and I just wanted to share it with you guys because maybe you can relate to it and it can benefit you in some way. So please don't think that I'm complaining or anything like that. The course of my life changed when I slid on black ice into a curb and uh, I thought I just popped my tires, but I, I bent my frame, I ended up totaling my car. This was the night before Christmas Eve. I was supposed to leave the day after Christmas to go to Minnesota. I was supposed to spend the winter with Leah, or you might know her as Hale. And because of that, I didn't end up going, and then our lives were heading in different directions, so we agreed to split. But it's all totally good. So I was back home for the winter, and it was fun, and I was traveling around the Northeast a lot, but it was a pretty stressful uh, workload, and it was a lot to do. While this was all happening, the truck broke and that was gonna be a lot to fix. And then the Rover was a lot to get back on the road and it still needs more work. And I missed an eye doctor's appointment so I've been wearing my glasses for uh, like a month and I just prefer contacts. These fog up and they get in the way and stuff. My shoulder has just been killing me. I can't work out and I feel weak and uh, mentally it's, I can't stand it. I haven't had a haircut in like, I don't know, two, three months and I feel like a bum. Um, at the peak of my paleness, we all are. It's, it's fun to be tan, it makes you feel good. I haven't been eating as well as I should have and you probably haven't either. I broke my new drone right after I got it, broke my new Sony right after I got it. I had to send them back in to get repaired. I got scammed on eBay and I've been dealing with that. And then over my head the whole time is taxes and I haven't really had to do that self-employed yet and I wasn't that great at bookkeeping this year. It's just gonna be a lot of work. 
And then today, I had to put down a dog that I've had in my life for 12 years. And besides that, a lot of the other things seem trivial, and we all have them. These micro stresses in our lives that build up and they cause a crazy amount of stress. It feels like the world is crushing down on you. It feels like you hit rock bottom. It happens to all of us. Creative slump, a work slump, whatever, a life slump. And all these things add up at once, right? You know, you'll get bad news and then you'll bump your leg on, a, on the corner of a table and then that'll cause something to fall off of a top shelf. And it's just like, how? Like, why? Ugh. And if you ever feel like, like this weight is just crushing you, take a deep breath. I know it's all easier said than done, but at the end of the day, you control your life. The way that you deal with stress and, and with challenges and, and hardships, that's what defines you. Anyone can do the, do the easy shit. How do you get through the hard stuff? The slump is the best opportunity that you can be given because the only way out is up. Which leads me to my point. Over the past couple months, I've worked harder than I ever have in my life. I've been up earlier and stayed up later, emailing, uh, shooting, editing, doing everything I possibly can to get to where I wanna be. All these little stresses were just fuel for my fire. I want this so bad. I wanna hear your comments. I wanna talk to you guys. I want this to be our thing. And so I'm feeling pretty good lately. I've kinda caught up in everything and made it out of the rut for the most part. And. So I'm gonna go on a trip with my good friend Dave and you bet your ass that you're coming with me. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you.